We think Ant Glasgow Jr. may have gone all hip hop on us as he takes fishing Britain along the canals in the centre of Manchester. Maybe we should have brought along some spray cans rather than our fishing gear. It seems that not only tagging hip hoppers dwell around these parts, he says follow your nose and you might even find an elusive lesser shouty drunk under the bridge too. Once the thriving arteries that were a super highway of industry now are washed with the litter of the fast paced cities above, these waterways still hold plenty of life in them. We are urban perch fishing which seems to be rising in fashion all over the country. Yeah, so this urban fishing lark's getting even more popular now, you see more and more people do it, it's in magazines and I think it's just easy for someone to just grab a box of lures, a few bits of rod and just do one to your local canal or like I have in, in the city centre, you know, and there's still fish here to be caught, you know, some of these urban places with traffic and graffiti and dirty syringes and all sorts knocking about, it's a shame, all that is a shame, but at the end of the day, if you're from the city, you have to put up with that, you're never going to escape it, and and yeah, you know, there's some cracking fish to be caught here, and you know, you can, you can dive on the bus, dive on the tram, jump in the car, come here, catch a few perch, do one back home. It's natural for me to come down here and see a hobo under the bridge and, and just step over the top of him and just carry on drop shot fishing. That's the kind of stuff that I've grew up doing, you know. I knew there'd be one under this bridge. <laughs> that is brilliant. I mean, the gear that I've, I've come here today is just a small ultralight, six foot three, zero to five gram rod, small little reel, uh, a six pound braid on there, and you know, I'm fishing for perch, there's a small fluorocarbon leader on there. If there's a lot of pike in the area, then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put a wire trace on. And the secret with this urban street fishing lark is, is keep on the move all the time. You've got to find where the fish are. Now, nine out of 10, you'll be getting a lot of, a lot of roach and, and prey fish feeding under these bridges because you've got to use your noggin. You get the pigeons that sh in the water uh, and that attracts, obviously, the fish feeding on the bits and pieces and then that attracts that attracts the perch. So bridges, for that reason, are always the, the first places where I start. If there's nothing there, then I'll I'll head on further down the river or further down the canal, and just gotta keep keep on the move. Now that was sexy. <laughs> thinking that's just pure neglection and that to me looks like perch heaven it stinks down there mate you see that polluted water sign that's perch heaven but it definitely is a biohazard to humans there's feces and all sorts down there and trust me they ain't from an animal so I think it's best we move on right into the heart of the city where the perch have an expensive dockside apartment and easy commute to work. Ah, this seems a little cleaner, well presented, tidy, oh. Well, it's gritty stuff like this that attracts the insects, which attract the bait fish, and then completing the food chain, in come the perch and pike. These striped little beggars love popping out for sushi at lunchtime with their work colleagues, and it looks like shrimps on today's menu. Ant goes for the drop shot method, as this tiny dock is around 7.5 metres deep. The large jig head will get the jelly shrimp down to the bottom fast, and as he moves along the bridge, jigging the end of the rod, the shrimp will look like it's scuttling along the bottom. This dock is right in the centre of the city and must have thousands of people walking over it every day, completely oblivious to what lies beneath, and it takes a keen-eyed urban warrior like Ant G to sniff them out.
Check that little guy out. This is a place where you would normally walk across and wouldn't think there was fish in there. I just dropped this guy down and woof, he nailed that. You know, awesome. So there you have it, last fish of the day. Real urban perch. I just put that shrimp right under that bridge there and whack. A little fatter, he's beautiful. So perch are awesome. They're crazy, they're always hungry. They remind me of me. And you know what the best thing is? They live right here in my city.